Today I want to talk all about Nobody's Child. I promised this video a few weeks ago now and I had a couple of issues placing an order which I will talk about as the video progresses but I do want to hop straight into showing you the items. Show you what I recommend purchasing if you're new to the brand, you're interested in trying them, what I recommend, what I think actually they do really well and some pieces that I would absolutely avoid like the plague. Why don't we start with the dress I am wearing. This is one of my favourites that I've tried from them I have to say I think they do denim really well both in dress form top form and their jeans I haven't tried their jeans but they do look really nice I've seen them on a few people and I think generally denim is one of their stronger points this dress is beautiful I think this is a really easy dress to wear in the autumn time I can imagine wearing this right now as the weather is kind of early September it's a little bit crisper with um, some knee-high boots, particularly some suede boots to lean into kind of the western theme of this darker denim and a bag and that's basically it. Maybe I'll throw a trench coat over if it's cold enough but I was also thinking how could I transition this into the winter and I think with a turtleneck, specifically a cream tight-fitting turtleneck layered under this could work or even just like a crew neck thin knit tight to the body jumper I don't have anything like that actually so I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you that in the cutaways but either way I do think there are ways to layer this um when it gets to the colder months as well and then of course even in the summer spring summer you could wear this with sandals on a cooler day because it's more of a chambray denim it is not super thick it's not super rigid one thing I think nobody's child really excels in is cutting clothes that work on curves so if you like the vibe of Cezanne if you like the general style but you find that a lot of their pieces like I do don't fit your body that well they are cut too straight and they are cut for people with less kind of curves less variation in their body then I think Nobody's Child is definitely a brand to look at because they have a similar style to Cezanne in a lot of ways um, but I feel like they do know how to cut clothes for curvier bodies. I'm giving you a bit of a better look at this dress. This is one of my favourite items from this video. I think it's so easy to wear, especially for the autumn time. It feels very autumnal. I paired it with my duo boots, uh, the brown suede ones. I can't remember what the style name of these is, but I will leave them linked down below. And this is a more full length view of the dress. So as you can see, I think it's cut for a slightly curvier body really well. It comes in nicely at the waist. I think the v-neck is flattering, but it's not too deep to be impractical. And it's got this little tie detail, which is quite nice. The sleeves are a nice length. I really love a balloon, like slightly billowy sleeve like this that comes in tighter at the wrists. I will say it could be a little bit tighter. I wish it came in a little bit more, but that's a minor complaint. Um, and the length is nice and it has pockets as well. So this is what it looks like with the boots. Really nice, really flowy. It's denim, but it's a lighter denim, so it feels very comfortable to wear. It's not too rigid. It's not something that I would wanna take off when I get home because it feels very stiff. It's not like that at all. It's a lovely flowy, kind of slightly loose fabric. And as I said, the size 12 on me is just a nice fit. Like I've got extra room in there, but I do prefer that because I don't like to feel uncomfortable. So I would wear it like this right now. I would pair it maybe with this woven leather bag. I think that could work quite nicely or just one of my burgundy bags could look really nice as well. And I can imagine throwing a trench over this um, if I was going outside and it was raining or it was colder. I really like it. I would definitely recommend this one. I went with the size 12 in this one and I'm pretty much a 12 across the board in Nobody's Child, I've found. Um, and there's a nice amount of room. One thing I like about the 12, I could probably size down to the 10 because I don't know if you can tell, but I've definitely, it definitely could be kind of cinched in more and I imagine it potentially would look more flattering. But these dresses in a 12 for me are so comfortable. They feel effortless. They feel I could easily kind of float about the house all day in this and not think twice about it and not want to take it off. So I do always go for the 12, but I do say, I would say they run pretty true to size generally. I wanted to try a mini dress from them as well. And this one really spoke to me when I saw it on the website. 
This is stunning. This is a corduroy. It's like a thinner corduroy. It's 100% cotton, so there's no viscose or polyester. I know a lot of cheaper corduroys do contain synthetic fabrics, but this is a cotton corduroy. But it is, as I said, it's not a super thick and rigid and heavy corduroy. So if you like clothes that are a little bit more flowy, a little bit lighter, but you still like those more autumn, wintry textures like cord, like denim, then I think Nobody's Child is doing that really well in their new collection. It has this beautiful embroidery embroidered collar. This is stunning. This is right up my street. The scalloping along the edge of the collar. This is their classic starlight dress, but in mini form. So I have three of these dresses that I've worn all summer long. They are like the summer version. So they're the midi length with the shorter puff sleeves, whereas this is the winter version. So it's a mini in a corduroy with a longer sleeve. Same kind of sleeve as this, where it is full length, but it had it does come in at the wrist, which I always like. Um, and I really like this one. This is a little bit wintry for right now maybe I feel like this is a very October November dress I was about to say final outfit but this is not the well it's the final outfit for me this is the last outfit I'm trying on but um it's not the final outfit for you you're you're still at the beginning you've still got a way to go I'm about to go and have some lunch after I film this which is why I'm not even bothered to put shoes on because I'm, I'm kind of done I'm over it but I do want to show you the dress because I really like this dress look how sweet this is I think it's the perfect little mini for autumn winter to wear with black tights. Um, I do like a black mini dress with black tights. Black tights can be difficult to style, I think, but black on black is a good, it's a default, isn't it? Um, but I love that it isn't so boring. It's not a boring black dress. It's still very much my style. Again, it's the starlight shape. It is just the best shape from Nobody's Child. There is something about it. If you're shaped similarly to me, it just nips you in, it's comfortable. Um, I like the long sleeve version actually, but again, it is, it's quite loose around the wrists. But other than that, um, I've got a little bit of space, but nothing major. The length is nice. It's not too short to, like, I like the look of a short mini. I think it's like a little bit cuter, but it's just impractical. I'm not going to wear it if it's too short. Whereas something like this, it's not awkwardly long, but it's also not too short either. I feel completely covered and fine. And I could definitely see myself wearing this probably in October and November. Um, it just feels a little bit dark and wintry for September, but yeah, the embroidery, let me show you up close. It's really pretty, really well done. And again, I love that it is also on the back. If you can see that behind the label. I love that they've carried it onto the back. I think it's something that a lot of cheaper brands, if you bought this from like H&M or New Look or something, it would probably not be on the back. So I do appreciate that about Nobody's Child. And it also has pockets, which is another thing that you don't always find with less expensive brands. So I would definitely recommend this one. I think it's really cute. I'm very tempted by this one. And this is £89 as well. That's like a typical price for their dresses. I will say you can almost always get 15 to 20% off Nobody's Child. Every time I've been on the website, they've had at least 15%, if not 20. So, you know, you're talking... 70 pounds or so for a dress. Let's talk about a couple of slightly more disappointing purchases. Both of these dresses were actually on my wish list. So these were the dresses that I was most interested in. The pieces from Nobody's Child from their autumn collection, I most wanted to try and I was convinced that I would love. And actually, neither of them are my favorites from this video and I'll talk about why. So I'll talk about this one first. This was the most disappointing out of the two. I really loved the look of this on the website site. I love the photography they did. I think they did it in like this like vintage style cafe, um, this kind of Parisian 60s style cafe and it looked really beautiful. Um, and the dress itself is lovely. Like it's not disappointing on the hanger. The quality feels nice. This is also 100% organic cotton. It retails for £110, so slightly more expensive. It is a do you know what? I cannot actually tell if this is black or navy blue. To me, it looks navy blue, but it might be black. It's like a very, very dark navy blue or a black with a white um, and some slight kind of embroidery details on it. It is beautiful. It cinches at the waist and then flows out. It does have a lining. So there's a cotton lining, not viscose, not polyester, cotton lining. So it's not see-through at all. It's just a really nicely made dress. The sleeves are kind of 
just floaty, they're not too tight, they're not a puff sleeve, a lot of nobody's child dresses have puff sleeves, if you don't like puff sleeves, this one could be a good option. However, this one in my size 12, my typical size for all of these pieces, the waistband on this one is super tight, and I just feel like, particularly because the rest of the dresses have a little bit of room in the 12 for me and I could almost size down and they just feel really comfortable. It's a little bit strange that the waistband is so tight in the same size in this style. The fit of this dress is just not quite right and I'm kind of gutted about it, but as you can see, well, I don't know if you can see, but this elastic bit here is very, very tight and it just feels too uncomfortably tight. I constantly feel like I need to kind of wriggle it about a bit it just feels really uncomfortable and that's trying it on for five minutes if i'm wearing this for a full day it's going to be even more uncomfortable and then the second issue i'm having is this tier here which is quite a common problem actually i have with these tiered dresses or skirts the one that sits kind of at my hips is a little bit tight as well um again i just feel like i want to constantly pull it down and that is an instant sign that it's not the right fit for me i think this is one of the few nobody's child dresses that might fit you better if you don't have the curves so if you have slightly narrower hips this is going to sit better if you have wider hips i wouldn't necessarily recommend this one just because of these tiers. But I will show you what it looks like anyway. I've paired it with my little Paula babies. I really like the pairing of this blue navy slash black gingham with the, the red of the Paula babies. It's definitely a slightly more summery dress than autumnal, but you could layer it, right? You could put a cardigan over this, a coat, whatever. You could definitely make this work in the autumn winter. And I really liked it on the website, but it was definitely one of those items that looks better on the model than it does in real life, I think. So yeah, this is what it looks like. The neckline is okay, just a simple V. The sleeves are nice, they're not too tight. There's plenty of room in the sleeve, um, so it's not terrible. And again, if you have slightly less wide hips, and maybe if you have a narrow waist, I'm not sure, maybe if you size up, it might be better. Um, I definitely think if you're between sizes, size up, because this is super tight, but it's not terrible. This second one was also on my wish list. I loved the colours of this one. It reminded me of Doen's autumn collection. These tartan checks in the reds, the burgundies and the blacks. Really liked it. And actually this one is nice on. This one doesn't have the same fit issues as the previous one. It doesn't have a waistband like that. This is their flossy dress. They do this in a few different designs. They had one in the summer that was really pretty. This one is £85, so it is on the cheaper side. It isn't lined, but it's a nice thick cotton, so there's no see-through issues or anything like that. The neckline is slightly lower than a lot of their other dresses, and it's more of like a scoop neck as opposed to their um, a v-neck that they do a lot on these starlight dresses and it does have a puff sleeve but it's not as exaggerated as some of their other puff sleeves so this is the flossy dress i had high hopes for this but it just falls a little bit short for me i definitely prefer the first two dresses i think i just prefer the silhouette of the starlight dress from nobody's child in particular and it comes in so many variations and colors that i don't really feel the need to try their other styles if i don't like them as much but it's not terrible there's nothing wrong with it um, I don't know. I don't know what it is about it, but I, do, I don't love it. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think I don't love the sleeves as much as the puff sleeve on the Starlight, which is slightly puffier and it's also less tight. This is a little bit more constricting and a little bit more uncomfortable than their normal puff sleeve that they do on all of their other dresses. And the neckline of this one I don't love as much either. I think it's I don't know, I, I prefer the sharper v-neck of the first couple of dresses, but it isn't terrible for the price point, it also has pockets, um, the colours are really cute, it is very autumnal, I can see myself wearing this on cooler autumn days when it is appropriate to wear a shorter sleeve, could layer some kind of like fluffy gilet over it if I wanted to. I thought while we're here I would just try the gilet for a little bit of an autumnal layer. I know this gilet is a little bit um, divisive, not everyone likes it, but a lot of you did buy it when I tried it last year from Isée Paris, so it's definitely one of those things you either love it or you hate it. I personally really like it. 
um, and I do quite like it with this dress. I think the colours are nice and it does add a little bit more warmth and a little bit more cosiness to a slightly cooler looking autumnal outfit. So yeah, I don't hate it. I think it's nice. I think the colours are cute. It's just not my favourite of their dresses. The next piece I really love the fit of. So this is in complete contrast to the last two items. This is a gingham top from Nobody's Child with this gorgeous Peter Pan collar right up my street. They do so many collared blouses on their website. Some short sleeved, some long sleeved, some with more frilly collars, some with contrast piping, some that are cut more straight and some like this that are cut wider. And this is the particular reason I love this one out of all of their blouses because I have tried a couple of their blouses in the past. I tried a very similar one to this that had a slightly frillier collar. It was in green, it was in a gingham, but it was cut really straight. Similar to how a lot of Cezanne's blouses are cut. A lot of the Cezanne blouses and that Nobody's Child blouse is cut very straight. So if you have wider hips, it fits you fine at the top, but you'll know those blouses that when they get to the hips, they just feel tight and they don't look great untucked. It's fine if you tuck them in. So I did tuck the Nobody's Child dress in when I tried it on in the changing room. So I can show you a picture of that. And that kind of solves the issue because you don't see that tightness around the hips. But what I really loved about this blouse in particular is it's cut wider on the bottom. So if you do have wider hips, you can also wear this untucked and it's nice and flowy and loose. Equally, you can still tuck it in because it's not like there's loads of excess material and it's not super heavy so it works tucked in and tucked out which is why I prefer this one to all of their other styles I think they also do this exact cut in plain white if that's of interest to you but I love the black and white gingham I'm really enjoying black and white gingham at the moment um it reminds me a little bit of the Doen Gap collection that dropped a few months ago I didn't try that and I kind of wish I had but I don't know I'm just really loving it I really love this gingham top I will show you what I mean about the cut of it can you see how nice and wide it is at the hip area. When I try so many of these tops on, both from Nobody's Child and from brands like Cezanne, they're cut so that when it gets to the hip, it's almost like this, which doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't always look terrible on camera, but it feels uncomfortable and it doesn't feel like you can wear them with jeans, whereas something like this, you can just pair with jeans and you can either wear it untucked like I am now, or you can do like a French tuck and then just kind of billow it out, or you can do a full tuck and either way works. And I really appreciate that slight extra volume at the hip. I guess not everyone will love it, but again, if you're curvy yet, if you've got wide hips, I really appreciate it and I think you will too. So this one has the nice big Peter Pan collar. I think this is so nice. It's like subtle enough because it's all the same gingham and there is no lace, there are no real, well, there is a little frill, but there's not like big embroidery or frills. So it doesn't feel too cutesy but it still leans into that trend and I'm definitely here for Peter Pan collars. I feel like I was wearing them in 2012, 12 years ago, and I'm wearing them again now and loving them just as much. So this I've just paired with a pair of straight leg um, dark wash jeans from Abercrombie and my same Cezanne axle boots, my new ones. Obviously you could do a million and one things with this outfit. I layered it with my okra gilet on Instagram uh today actually i think i posted that today and that i really liked i liked the color combination i could also layer it with my knitted gilet instead the divisive one maybe pair it with my clawed bag this time just to switch it up a little bit um that for me is like a nice casual autumnal outfit perfect for lots of different occasions um, I like the way it layers. Obviously you do kind of hide the collar by layering it, but I don't really mind that. Finally, I thought I would just show you what it looks like fully tucked in in case you're more of a tucker. If you are a bit like me, the millennial in you just always wants to tuck things in. But yeah, it works tucked in as well. I think with um, uh, bleh, denim, <laughs> jeans or trousers. This would look really nice with like some cream trousers or white trousers as well. Um, I really like it. I think it's a nice buy. It's simple, it's easy to wear, it's breezy, it's natural fibres, so it isn't going to be sweaty. Um, yeah, a good one, I think. I think this next jacket is a great alternative to some of Suzanne's embroidered jackets or the embroidered jackets we're seeing on the market at the moment or floral quilted jackets that are, again, quite dressy. This is a more casual take on a floral quilted padded jacket. I really had to try this when I saw it on the website because I absolutely love the colors. Black and pink, I just think pair so well together. I think most colors actually don't pair that well with black, 
but there's something about this specific shade of pink that I think works really nicely with black. So this is a cotton, 100% cotton quilted jacket. It is a very boxy style, slightly oversized. I don't know what size I got this in actually. I imagine I got this in a 10, but let me check. So I got this one in a medium, so it comes small, medium, large, extra large. Um, and I would say it's a little bit oversized, um, but in a kind of intentional way, so it's boxy. One thing I don't love about this jacket is it has no way to fasten it, so it has no buttons, but it doesn't even have those like hook and eye clasps that most of the jackets of this style do. And I didn't love that. I feel like you should have the option to button it up or do it up just in case you want to. Um, and I do think this is a little bit too boxy for my personal preference. I do generally prefer a jacket like this that has a little bit more shape to it. But again, if you want something quite casual but still really fun, um, I do think this is a nice option. Now, one thing about it that I haven't mentioned yet is it is fully reversible. So the other side is a slightly more subtle black and pink floral with more kind of of the black background. And then this side, which I think is my favorite actually, is more of this ditzy pink and it has pockets on both the sides. I think it does, yeah. It has pockets on both sides at the front um, and then it's just plain on the back and it is more of like a quilted cotton texture. I'm just gonna throw the uh, floral jacket over this gingham top just to give you an idea of the fit. As I said, it's a very boxy one and I don't, I don't love that personally. It's like a little bit too boxy for my liking. Um, it is very like, you know, you feel, you don't feel restricted like you do in the Renato jacket, but I don't know. I wish you could do it up as well because I do think buttons, it might kind of help it give it a little bit more shape. Whereas when it's out like that, it's the sleeves as well, right? They're very like snowman-like. I really like both sides actually. A lot of the time when I see reversible things, there's one side I really much prefer and I would only ever wear it on that side. So it kind of defeats the purpose of it being reversible. But with this one, I actually would wear both. So that's the other side. A little bit of a 360. <laughs> I love the pattern. The pattern is so cute. Um, yeah, I do prefer the inside, I think. I just like a little bit more color. Um, but I would probably pair a white or a cream top underneath if I was wearing it this way around. I think it would pop more. I don't think I would wear something this dark. I think I'd wear something brighter and then it would pop more against that. But overall, it's nice. I think, yeah, it's, it's just very boxy. Um, so not for me, but I can see some people really liking this. This is a piece that really pleasantly surprised me. This was also in my wish list video um, from a few weeks ago. I mentioned that I really wanted to try this jumpsuit and I wasn't convinced that this would end up fitting me because it's really difficult to find jumpsuits, especially in a rigid denim that fit when you're a different size on top to bottom. So I wasn't that hopeful that this one would fit, but actually I'm fairly pleasantly surprised by this one. So it's a full length boiler suit, jumpsuit, denim in this mid-wash blue. It's 100% denim, I believe, so it doesn't have any stretch to it it's quite a thick rigid denim but not super thick it's kind of mid-weight but yeah it's not stretchy at all this one I got in a size 14 because I figured if there's any hope of it fitting me I want it to be a little bit looser if anything especially in the bottom portion because there's no stretch it's 95 pounds which I think is actually a really reasonable price for a denim 100% denim jumpsuit again you can usually get 15 to 20 percent off that so I think 80 pounds that's a really really good price for something like this and I really like the fit of this I really like the length with a heeled ankle boot on me this is perfect kind of is just above the floor um so if you did want to wear it with flats you'd have to be a little bit taller than me but I tend to wear something like this with a heel just because I find it lengthens the leg slightly anyway this jumpsuit you will have already seen if you watch my Suzanne video I had to try it on briefly in that video I really like it I'm pleasantly surprised I really did not have many high hopes with this fitting me but actually the 14 fits fairly well. It doesn't even feel too loose really in the top area, which is what I was mainly worried about. It comes in nice and narrow at the wrists. The length is definitely on the longer side. It's perfect for me with a kind of two to three inch heel, but I definitely think that on the whole, Nobody's Child caters more for the taller girl than the petite girl. I know a lot of their trousers run quite long. I know that because Molly Campsy wears them quite regularly and they are floor length on her and she's like five foot 11. So I definitely think they're not very petite friendly. But if you're on the taller side, average to tall, I think they're gonna fit you really nicely. So this is what the jumpsuit looks like. 
I don't think I would actually keep this just because I don't know how many times I would wear this. I don't know how on how many occasions I would want to wear a full denim jumpsuit. It's quite a look. It's quite a commitment. And I just think in my day to day life, I don't really need to feel this. I don't know. I, I do like it. If I if I went to more events and I wanted to dress up in like a casual way, but like a daytime kind of dressy uh, occasion then i would definitely probably keep this because i like the look of it but i just don't really need it but yeah i've styled it with my new um axle boots and as you can see the length it is just bringing it up off the floor so it's not going to drag on the floor it's not going to get dirty which i like um this is the top section um so it does i definitely wouldn't have been able to fit into the 12 i'm almost sure because of this area here um but yeah it's not too baggy up top I would probably just match my shoes to my bag with my classic Milo. Um, like the, po the pockets are in actually a kind of weird place thinking about it. I, I went to put them there, but they're there, which is a small thing, but it is kind of weird. Um, but other than that, I, I really like it. It's something a little bit different for me. It's definitely more like Western leaning. Um, but I could definitely see myself wearing this if I had <laughs> the right occasion for it. I don't love the buttons. I think the buttons definitely cheapen it. I think one thing that you can tell straight away about a, a slightly cheaper item of clothing if you compare it to a brand like Cezanne is the buttons. If Cezanne did something like this, the buttons would probably be really pretty. These are kind of ugly to me. They're like a brassy, rose goldy sort of coppery shade. I would say they're a coppery shade and they have nobody's child denim written on them. I don't love them. I wish they were like a tortoise shell or just plainer or not in that copper shade, which I don't really like. But other than that, I think it's a really nice piece and I like the fit. I have two more pieces to show you and I thought I would show you them together because they make a really nice outfit pairing together. So the first item is the skirt. This is a I don't know what you would call this almost like a tartan check skirt in a brown and black they do this in a couple of different colors and designs they do a black and white gingham one, one similar to the gingham top i showed earlier which is really nice um but i went with this one i just thought it was slightly more autumnal i got this in my usual size uk 12 this has a very very stretchy waistband so this you could definitely accommodate a huge amount of sizes like you know a 10 could fit this probably a 16 could fit this as well so I wouldn't worry too much about the sizing on this particular one um, I could definitely do a smaller size in this because there is so much give in the waistband and it also has um, a drawstring that you can tie and cinch it in if you need to as well this one I'm not sure about um, I've seen this on a few people on Instagram actually and I really liked it but I just don't know if I love it on me it's quite voluminous and actually although I've just said that it is nice that it's got this really stretchy waistband I don't really like stretchy waistbands with drawstrings personally I just think they make items look a little bit cheaper they're definitely practical and comfortable to a certain extent although I do always find that elastic kind of it, it almost digs in even though it, even if it fits right it kind of when you take it off at the end of the day you've got like that little indentation from the elastic I just it's not my favorite I would actually rather have something that didn't have um, an elastic waistband and just fit true to size but that's my personal preference and some people might think the opposite so I still want to show it um but yeah I mean it's nice I like the length I like the pattern um, does it have pockets? Yeah, it does have pockets. It's cotton as well. This one retails for £79. I don't think it's a bad buy, but I just I, I just never think these waistbands are that flattering. I would rather have a smooth waistband. Um, and I would only really wear this if I could completely cover the waistband rather than having the drawstring stretchy situation on show. That is one of the reasons I really liked pairing it with this next piece actually because it does cover the waistband so rather than tucking a top in which is my default when I'm wearing skirts usually is to have like a form-fitting top tucked in actually this shape top in particular works really nicely with that skirt but also if you have other midi and maxi skirts in your wardrobe I'm thinking I could pair this with my white uh, reformation maxi skirt and it would look really nice as well it's just a really nice shape this top is very reminiscent of something you would find on reformation but a fraction of the cost so this is 59 pounds you would easily pay like 200 pounds for something like this on reformation and I think the quality is almost as good as reformation I mean I don't think reformation quality is anything to write home about and I would say this is pretty much equivalent it's a nice top for 59 pounds it's a decent top I think 
But yeah, I don't think I would pay the Reformation price for something like this. So if you're looking at tops like this on Reformation, I would actually recommend having a little look on Nobody's Child, especially if you're in the UK where Nobody's Child is more affordable, than, a lot more affordable than Reformation. Okay, this is the final outfit. Although I'm not obsessed with either of these pieces, I do think it makes a very good pairing if you're looking for an outfit. This skirt in this pattern or in the gingham and this top just work really well together. Um, I think it's the shape. It just creates a really nice shape where the top and the skirt meet and it, it still defines your waist, but you don't have to tuck in, which is quite hard, I think, to have something that's not tucked in, but is still defining your waist. Um, yeah, I really like it. I mean, I'm not obsessed. I'm not, I definitely think the quality of the top is not the best just because as I said, I have noticed a few loose threads around the edges, which um, you probably won't be able to see now, but there've just been a few threads dangling off the bottom. The buttons are not my favorite. They're okay, but they feel fairly cheap and they don't feel reinforced enough. So they move around quite a lot. So I'd be worried they would come off quite easily. I like the neckline. I really like the square neck actually with the puff sleeve. I think that's quite nice. And then at the back, it's got one of those high situation so you can that's what is creating this shape which is quite nice so you can tie it to your own personal waist and the skirt i can't really complain much about the skirt it's just a cotton maxi ish it's like a mid axi length and as i said the waist the waistband is so adjustable so i mean you could literally fit two of me in here so i wouldn't worry too much about what size you get um it's probably going to fit you fine because you can use the drawstring so yeah it's nice it's cute it's comfortable as well like I don't feel restricted but I still feel like just showing I'm showing my shape that's everything I tried from nobody's child this time as you can see my general consensus is I'm pretty impressed I like the clothing it's quickly becoming one of my favorite brands for inspiration I think their style has really leveled up a notch I remember a few years ago nobody's child made a lot of vi viscose dresses a lot of very kind of floral dresses, I guess very reminiscent of the era, like the mid 2010s. But I do feel like now they've stepped up the game and their style, their whole um, like image is a lot more comparable to other slightly higher end brands like Cezanne um, on the market, but at that more approachable kind of entry level price point. So there are a lot of things on the Nobody's Child website I would recommend. Anything made of 100% organic cotton, whether that's denim or just like a classic cotton, I would say gets a thumbs up from me generally. I think the skirts, the dresses, the tops, the denim pieces are all really nice. They're all really reasonable for the price point. Um, the dresses that I bought a few months ago back in May, June have held up really nicely, bar the one that is a tensile linen blend, which is why I just think I would stick to their organic cotton. Anything that is tensile, linen um and particularly eco vero viscose i would avoid i think it's cheap i think it is not worth the price point that they charge i think it has a tendency to shrink and to look really disheveled after a couple of washes whereas their organic cotton which is pretty much the same price point is really nice and it does hold up in the wash really well. I would also generally avoid their knitwear because almost all of their knitwear, at least from the spring and summer, tends to be made of recycled polyester. It looks really cheap, it looks really horrible to me. However, I did notice in their new autumn collection, there were a couple of knitwear pieces in 100% wool. So I haven't tried them, so I can't say what the quality's like, but those pieces look a little bit nicer and they are higher price point. But most of the knitwear looks like recycled polyester. I would just avoid that at all costs. The final thing I wanted to say about Nobody's Child is the issues I have with my order. So I placed an order a few weeks ago and it got dispatched. I got the tracking on Royal Mail and then I didn't hear anything for about 10 days. And finally, I got an email from Nobody's Child saying the entire order had be re re been refunded. No explanation why. It just appeared as a refund um, on my account. So I thought that was kind of weird. So I got in touch with the customer service, it took them about eight days to get back to me. And I actually ended up messaging them on Instagram. They ignored me. I ended up commenting on a couple of their Instagram posts. They ignored me until eventually someone from customer service got back to me, as I said, about eight or nine days later and told me that the package, the like 
actual material had been destroyed in the mail and it had been refund it had been returned by royal mail because it was they were unable to deliver it basically because the parcel was so ripped and i have found that even my parcel today came with dpd tape wrapped around it because it was not packaged sufficiently so that's my one my main criticism about them so far is they don't seem to be using adequate packaging for the clothes which is causing real issues in delivery that's my spiel about nobody's child let me know if you've tried them let me know what you think we'll also leave some videos on screen if you're not done watching i hope you're doing really well and i will see you all very soon in my next video bye